What's up guys, this is Chris from BFXon and in this quick tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to turn your 2D image into a 3D one. Um, and this is what it will sort of look like. Okay, um, but before we go into that, I would suggest that you go and check my tutorial on how to first off um, we have to work with these images in Photoshop, so there will be a link in the description or you can just simply click on the screen right now and I will be here waiting for you, so... Okay, so I hope you watch that um, Photoshop tutorial because we're going to be working, um, we're going to continue to work from there. So here I have my background that we're going to be using and I'm going to be, well, I'm going to use the same resolution as the background, so I'm just going to simply create a new composition based on that. I know it's not a high definition, but I really don't care about that right now, because it's just simple tutorial. And here is my seagull that I'll be, use, I'll be using, and it's the same seagull I used in the preview video. And this is a really quick and easy tutorial, so um, basically, uh, like, this is a really easy effect to do and uh, so let's just quickly jump into it so press on the background image press S on your keyboard select the seagull or whatever object you have and press S also make sure you click on the scale on both of them at the start and let's say we'll go like I don't know like about this far and then first of all I'm gonna zoom the background or scale the background like so just, I don't know, like that, okay? And then I'm gonna scale the seagull, but, no, I'm just gonna scale a little bit more. Uh, but make sure that the object you wanna sort of like um, zoom past is scaled more than the background. So in this case, the background is scaled 140%, and that means the seagull has to be scaled more than that. So I'm gonna scale it, let's say, 100 and I don't know, 70. Okay, and what also we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into position. I'm gonna go back, set a keyframe, and I'm gonna go to here, to the last keyframe. I'm gonna simply make a little sort of motion and move it to, let's I don't know, like, like, let's say this direction. And now if we go back and play it, it sort of looks like we're actually zooming past the seagull right there. So this is a really really easy effect to do. It doesn't require a lot of skill. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this is actually it for the tutorial. This was really quick to do. Um, I'm just gonna try something different right here. I'm gonna try to... let's go to position right here. Okay, and I'm gonna go to the last frame right here. And I'm gonna move this let's say down also and to that side okay let's see how does this look okay, this looks good I would say you really can't say that the seagull is actually moving in front into the camera so yeah this looks nice um, the reason why I scaled the background less than the seagull is because when you zoom in uh, with an actual camera, it sort of looks like, for example, if you zoom on object that is in foreground, it looks like the background is not zooming or scaling up as much as the um, object in a foreground. And that's the same effect that we're using here, or, or a parallax scrolling. There is another way that we can do this, but that technique does not always work. Uh, when you pick some images, make sure that there is uh, nothing covering it. For example, if I want to zoom the seagull and there will be like, um, like a box here covering it, I would first off have to separately zoom the box faster than the seagull because that is more into our foreground and then only afterwards the seagull. But also make sure that you cut the object correctly and you scale it correctly because sometimes you can mess up badly by scaling and you can see that there are some parts of the object or in this case for example there wouldn't be a leg 
and uh, yeah just make sure you scale it correctly okay guys so that's it for this quick tutorial um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was help, um, helpful to you uh, so yeah hit that like button and comment if you have any questions or suggestions and uh, please click that big red subscribe button up there or is it is it down or up I think it's down yes click that red subscribe button which is down and I will see you in my next tutorial goodbye guys